Action! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome to Hangar 207 in the garage golf cart edition. We, uh, and we're up to this point where we've taken the starter generator, mounted it on the engine, had the chassis pretty much ready, and we're going to take the body off the uh, golf cart today. And then we'll start putting it together, which will be a mock. Because once we get it all together, we have to pull it all back apart, clean everything, give everything good painting, lube, oil, whatever we need to do, grease. I'm going to do something with the brakes, make sure they're good. Well, I got it apart. So, that's where we're going from here on out. And it's basically almost to the down stretch. Kind of the midway point. But it's been a fun project so far. We lost some data did uh, videos, kind of bums, because there was quite a bit of work that was done there. But anyways, I want to say let's get started, but everybody does that. So I don't want to say back to work, because other people say that. What do you want to say? Let's do it. OK, let's do it. Well, we temporarily set the motor down in there just to see what we got to do next is we you saw us pull the cover off. We took it outside and we power washed it in the dark, got all wet. Some of the problems we have is like right here. This is these are just temporary to hold the carburetor on, but the air cleaner goes in this area here, so it's going to hit this box here, which is the electronics for the starter generator I gotta come up with a way of I don't want to move the box because the throttle see if I push the throttle pedal like this it moves the, that stuff there which tells the starter generator what to do and then here's the throttle cable that will hook up to here somehow hook up to here somehow and I'm not sure how I haven't got that far yet but I might have to move this electrical part some watt because I can move it different places and then notch out the box here or something but all I do, whatever I do decide to do I'll do it on video Oh shoot, I didn't have to do it that way. I did. There. Should be back out of the way now so I can get everything else set up. The uh, Everything's just kind of setting in here. I just put everything in here for 10 bands to where I can get this lined up. But the engine was hitting that box. Oh, that box is going to be fun to figure out.
there's my welds. This is the back side. The other side I've already ground off. So now I gotta grind these smooth because there's gonna be a hole right here in the middle of this. And this is gonna be the back side where the nut will be. So I gotta have that smooth. So I gotta grind that smooth. And then same with this one. There's where the old, these are the old holes for the original engine. These are holes I drilled before when I had my measurement off. And that's how far off I was because the hole actually has to be here. So, you know, that's a pretty good miscalculation on measuring. So, I had to, uh, that's what I'm doing here now. I had to add that to it. I'm going to trim these corners off here a little bit more, clean this up, try to make it look nice. Although it's under the engine, you can't see it, so it don't really make a difference. But I got to grind these smooth. That's my next task. did the measuring off the old engine that's down there and the new engine to get everything lined up right. When I did it the first time I did it wrong. Here was the holes I did. I used this existing hole because I happened to fall in the right spot but the engine was off so when I re-measured it I realized I was off by a half inch. So what I did basically was is on the other side you can see where the bolts were bolted here. And I took a square underneath the motor on these, right in the center of the holes of the engine, the old engine. And then I took a level from the center of the shaft straight down, and it was five and a quarter inches from where the bolts went to the mount back to where the clutch shaft went. All right, so that gives me where the center line was. Then I measured it off the new engine to the center of the shaft and it was four and a quarter inches so the engine had to be moved forward an inch. I put this on the bottom of the motor and tap it with a hammer and it makes a template of where the holes are. For the center of these holes to here is uh, four and a quarter inches <coughs> and I measured four and a quarter inches here from the center of where their hole was five and a quarter inches. So that's where the this is where the center of the clutch has to be at on this mount right there. All right, and then the distance from the outside of the clutch over to where the holes are. And then that's where you come up with your points. So then you put this on here. These, there's two holes on here that are oblong. So I put this on here. I drew my lines of where those measurements were. Now you measure from here to here. And here, here's the same distance. That's the difference of the two is where the center is. And then put it on there. So it shows where my, these holes has got to be like around the edge of this. So I cut these pieces of scrap steel out, welded them on here, grounded them smooth. Now I'm going to drill the holes and I'll be able to bolt the motor onto this. And then, uh, um, after I double check my measurements before I drill these holes, I'm not going to do it two or three times. I'm going to make damn sure that they are right. So uh, I drill my holes for new bolts, bolt it on, put it back into the cart, and then uh, start figuring out what to do with the rest of the stuff.
this would have been a lot easier if I just wanted, wanted to take the time out and get my drill press out. air cleaner back on it. This has to be, see underneath here is the lever for the throttle, which controls the electronics for the starter generator. What controls that is a lever, a rod from the throttle pedal, which moves this down here. And that's geometry that's got to be just right. So if I move this up or in a different location, it'll throw the geometry of the throttle off. And I don't really feel like messing with geometry right now. <laughs> so that's why I'm in this field of predicament. Oh, 